exactly what's about to happen right let me pull out my phone okay so yesterday as I record this two things sun is in and out of the clouds and uh, I have uh, been recording other content so uh, you're gonna have to bear with me okay but now we are recording the fun stuff okay yesterday this time no yesterday a few hours around six seven o'clock at night i put up a we're getting into the video now so it's fine i put up a insta snap where i was talking about how i get asked so many questions about my house doing a house tour uh how do you live in a house like that at your age how, what do you do you know those sinister just you know what those sinister, sinister, sinister. Mm. Mm, sweetie. Those sinister, 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 sinister comments that you can see. Or, you know what? This person, it's coming from a dark place. Why are they asking me this? It's not coming from a good place. Like, oh my God, you motivate me, you inspire me. No, they always want to know. And often, I read those DMs and I'm just like, mm -hmm. okay. I read and I don't respond. Mm. If I have wine mouth, please understand. I'm drinking red wine because, because those, those, those assumptions were so spicy that even me, I want to be spicy in my response. I want to drink a spicy wine and at the same time, I want to be spicy in my response because me, I'm tired guys. Hey, I'm tired. I get these DMs where people are like, oh no, you probably have somebody sponsoring you. I got, I get men in my DMs trying to be like, no, whoever is sponsoring you, I can do better. What a, what a, ah, I'm being sponsored. All right. All right. All right. So I put up a snap and I put up a question box and I said, tell me what it is that you assume about me and let's go. But here's the thing about today's assumptions video, okay? The thing about that is, get relaxed. Your assumptions are rather spicy. So my responses are going to be rather spicy. Now, you gotta, you, if you got to give it, if you got to dish it, be able to take it, sweetie. Because at this point, me, I'm tired. I'm tired. I kept on biting my tongue, biting my lip, biting my this, biting my this, biting everything. But at this point, I'm tired. And I'm ready to have this chat. So let's go ahead and have this chat. Okay? Let's get started. There are so many. Sweetie, I'm tired. Okay? I'm so the first one is your bisexual. It's not the first one. But uh, the other ones I don't want to address as yet. The first one is your bisexual. If you've been following me for a while, you will know that yes, I am bisexual. It's just, it's my, it's my sexual orientation. That's, that's it. I like the girls and I like the boys. Right. Uh, the next one is you have a new whip. No, I do not. And I know where this one comes from because in my sister's video, my sister was filming mom's birthday, blah, 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 the celebration that we were having at home. And there's a part in her video where I pull up and you guys see my whip. It's not a new whip. People automatically assume that it's a, it's, it's a new whip. I don't know what whip you, you saw me driving before for you to assume it's a new whip, but it's not a new whip. I've had it for a while. So no, it's not a new whip. I've had it for a while. Hey! You don't wear lingerie. Why? Do I look like that much of a prude? Or is there something about me that comes off as if I'm not somebody? Why wouldn't you wear lingerie, sweetie? I've got pictures of myself on my phone looking sassy, sassy, baby. And something really cute and lingerie -y. I love lingerie why do you think I'm always in bras and things I'm always buying things from bras and things I'm wearing a piece of lingerie right now 
What do you even mean? So no, sweetie. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Bonane, now I'm that girl who wears lingerie just, just for just. I'm that, I'm that girl. I don't, I don't wear it because somebody's coming and I'm going to put on a little bit of a show. No, I wear it just for just. I feel sexy in it. I look good in it. I like how I feel. I like how it looks on me. But um, why, why, why would I not look like a ray, baby? What do you even mean, bro? <laughs> um... This one I found a bit sassy. You're low-key more into girls, Mara, you care what society is going to say. Why? Why would I care what society is going to say? I'm not low-key into girls. I'm into girls and boys. I'm not high-key into this one or low-key into this one or whatever. I'm into girls and boys. I've had girlfriends before. So I don't understand why I, I, me, the very same person who preaches on sexual liberation and sexual freedom and being your, your, your best. I, I talk about my sister's sexual liberation in our video together. I'm like, my sister's very sexually liberated. Why would I be secretive about the fact that I'm into girls or not? No, no. You own the company you claim to work for. No, I don't. I am in a very senior position, yes, but I do not own the company. Guys, please, man, I do have a company that I own. Yes, I do, do, do. Mm -hmm. But it's not the one that you are thinking based on what I've mentioned on social media. No, I do have a company that I own, but the one that is my 9 to 5 daytime job, no, I do not own it. Go, nice. yo, nah, wait till I'm going because. It's just crass. Like some of these were so wild, so crass. You want to live alone forever. That's as spicy as I can get. I don't want to live alone forever. I enjoy living alone. Ooh, I enjoy living alone, cha. This wine is starting to heat me up. I really enjoy living alone, honey. But um, I do not want to live alone forever. I can't live with other people. I really, really can't live with other people. It's hard. Um, at some point, I get annoyed. But mm -mm. do I want to live alone forever? No. I'm trying to make somebody's child my live-in partner. No, I don't want to live alone However, no. I'm not trying to live alone for forever. No. You date ladies? Yes. I love them. Have you seen women? My goodness. Okay, um, hi sis cat, your dad made sure you're good as soon as you're graduated. In what way, sweetie? To rest, 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 before to rest, rest, rest. Make sure we're good in what way? With money, with cars, with homes, with whatever. If that's what you're alluding to, no. I've got my own properties, I, that, that are mine, that say me, that say me, that I went in my 20s, and I went and I contacted a bank called Standard Bank and I applied for a whole entire home loan, my baby, my darling, my sweetie. So that had nothing to do with my father. In my whole career and whatever and blah, 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 it had nothing to do with my dad. This is the problem with you guys. This is the problem with you guys. You can never see a person's independence and especially a woman's independence and actually attribute it to her achieving all those things by herself. It must either be her dad, her father, her mother, her sponsor, her boyfriend. Why is it not possible that I can buy all my cars or buy all the properties that I have or all the things that I have or whatever. Why must it be attributed to somebody else? It's the misogyny about it. It's the, it's the, it's just, it's the patriarchal society that sickens me. That makes me feel like, why would you not actually give a woman the platform to actually believe that she achieved those things by herself without automatically assuming, her, no, her parents must have gotten it's it the, for her. It's the patriarchy and the misogyny behind these kinds of statements that annoys me. It annoys me. Let's say it, Lena. Let's say it. Why is I supposed to feel, oh, wait a cat, you, you're doing the absolute most. Mar, that's why we're here. I can read up with debunking the assumptions. So I'm here for you. Your investment portfolio is worth more than five million. You're a rich kid. Let's address this. Hi. 
Ay! 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 I feel like the whole thing about it is I'm going to make a statement today and I'm going to make the statement and I'm going I'm to hope that this is where the sleeping dogs are going to lie. Okay? I am not a rich kid, gents. Okay? I am comfortable. My family is comfortable. But rich is a very relative term. If you're going to tell me that I'm a rich kid, I don't understand what a rich kid is. If you're going to tell me, well, okay, I, I, can, I don't go to bed hungry at night, I can pay my bills sufficiently, I manage to buy this and this and this and treat myself to trips and this and this and this, then yes, I live comfortably. But if you're going to tell me that I am a rich, where is the rich? Where is the rich? Somebody explain to me, Burichi Bukai. I don't come from a rich family. My father would actually be mad as hell if we said that he was rich because he isn't. But then again, I do understand that rich is a very relative term. If I think rich, I think mm, I must be the daughter of Patrice Mutsebi. I must be the daughter of whoever, whoever. I must be the daughter of uh, whoever, whoever. That's what I think when I think rich. That's what I think. I think that everything is handed to you on a silver platter. I must be an Mpisane or somebody, okay? You know, I must, I must be part of them keys, a family or somebody. That's what I would think when I'm thinking rich. But nothing about us and about our family distributes that kind of behavior at all. So, uh, to me, you're not rich, no. No. Would I say that we're a middle class, middle income family? Absolutely correct. So I don't know where the richness or the whatever that you are seeing is coming from. I'm not even lying. I feel like if my sister were to tell you that, she'd probably tell you the same thing. But there's a difference and I understand why someone would see me and the lifestyle that I live and think that I'm rich. Whereas I would think that my lifestyle is a comfortable one to a point whereby I can buy what I need to buy, blah, 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 blah. But it doesn't mean I am dropping Pukus and pukus and puku loads of money on cars and and bags and expensive designer products and whatever. I don't do that. So I'm not sure Uguti Tata Window is rich Ekaya. But it'd be like that some time. You are happily drawing with Abuti Diesel right now. Guys, now I'm going to tell you the truth about Abuti Diesel. If you do not know who Abuti Diesel is, um, I have been talking about the fact that I have met a new friend. He's actually not new, like I've known him for years and years. But, um, there's somebody new in my life and all of that. I'm trying to jaw up with the diesel. I'm trying to win him. I'm trying to bag him. He don't want, he's running from me. He doesn't care, he doesn't, he's just like, mm -mm. today is available, tomorrow is not available, <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie, but no, I'm not, I'm not, uh, um, <laughs> let's move on, um, you work very hard for your money, that is the absolute truth, yeah, but I'm, old. I'm not even going to lie to you guys, I work, I don't rest, no, apart from the fact that there's a daytime job, there's a nine to five, there's another company, Okay, there's the hair story, there is the YouTube. Guys, na It's just that maybe I don't know what it is you're seeing or what you want to see that will prove to you guys that I work hard, but I can't talk about my nine to five purely because I'm in a senior position. It's not my place. It's not my place to talk about my nine to five and talk about all those details. But I've got other ways to make the monies. Maybe I shake my booty on the street. I don't, I don't, I don't do that. But guys, guys, there's multiple ways in which people can make money. So please, please. Mm. Hey cat, you introduced your diesel sneaker to your... F <laughs> hey! You introduced your diesel sneaker boyfriend to your family when you guys had your mom's birthday. Um, you are probably basing this on the vlog that I did around that weekend. The following day I spoke about how he came to the family function and whatever and he was there um they know who he is but he wasn't formally introduced so he's there but please me not not i'm old school okay formal introductions is when somebody comes with intent from Akua from their house 
to come to my parents' house. It's a with intent to meet, hello, who are you, whatever. So no, it wasn't that kind of thing because it was a celebration of something completely different. It wasn't about him. But did they meet him? Did they go, hello, how are you? Yeah, hey, hey. yes, yes. Is he my boyfriend? I'm trying to bag him. He doesn't want me to bag him. That your kinky AF. I mean, <sighs> I like to do this a lot. If I was wearing a wig. I mean, I'm not, but oh, no, not, no, it's a no, no. I'm not kinky AF. I'm not into things like BDSM and this, 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 and tie me up and do the, the, the. I'm not into things like that. I'm not. Am I a little bit spicy? Sure. Sure. Like everybody else. Do I like to try out new things? Yes. But are there points where I will draw the absolute line? Absolutely. But me, kinky AF, I think you, you are going all the way there where you are talking about this, that, and the other, these nasty things. Mm-mm, no. Mm-mm, mm-mm. It's not that, my darling. It's not that, so, nope. But it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm not excited. Your dad is probably a politician. You and Naledi seem to be very, living a very soft life. My dad is not a politician. You love sex? I mean, I love sex. Well, who doesn't? Who doesn't? If you don't, it's not being done right. If you don't, it's not being done right. It's simple. I'm a grown-up. I can tell you the honest truth is that, yes, who doesn't? It's sexual expression, it's enjoying yourself as a grown-up and as an adult and not having to be apologetic about it or for it, not one bit. Who doesn't? Who does? You're sitting here watching me and you're like, yes, sis. <laughs> I do too, girl. I do too. So, there you go. <laughs> you live in a big house with your sister. Again, you do not watch our content. My sister and I do not live in the same house. Our houses are very, very different. And to those who watch our channel, they will know. They will know. You're a daddy's girl. I think all the girls in uh, our family, Khanya, Naledi, and myself, we're all daddy's girls. We're all daddy's girls. Daddy loves us. It's the truth. It's the truth. The boys are typically always attached to their moms anyway. So we are we are definitely daddy's girls. Definitely. Uh, you're a millionaire. I'm not. You bought your house cash. I did not. I actually called Stand Bank. I was like, Stand Bank, somebody. Somebody help me with this home loaning business. Tell me how I can figure it out. And that's how I got my property. So the business of um, you guys thinking I bought my house cash or all of that. No, no, sweetie. I am a, 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 a citizen myself who has to do things the way that things are done. I don't have special privileges. I don't have money coming out of, of pockets and drawers and sock drawers and under the bed and all of that. I don't have that kind of stuff. So I had to do it the normal way. When I was 20, first property was 20, 25, somewhere there. So I had to go and get a home loan, boo baby. Um, you've went down on a girl before and you enjoyed it. I mean, if I'm bisexual and I've had a girlfriend, what would that say? Yeah? Okay. Uh, you have a fictional husband or boyfriend. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I wish, I wish I could answer that. I wish I could bring him into the frame and be like, come. St I don't. I don't have a husband. I don't have a fictional anything. <laughs> okay. You started building your credit score in your early 20s. Ding, ding, ding. You've had a one night stand before. Yes, I have. I've actually spoken about it in my one night stand candid with cat video. I have. I've done it before more than once, more than three times. And it was okay. It was okay. And whatever, you know, we're grown. We're not, we're not going to be apologetic for the decisions we were. Sometimes you don't want somebody to be all up in your face and just what you don't want a boyfriend. You don't, you don't want, want a girlfriend. boyfriend. 
You don't want a boyfriend. You don't want a girlfriend. You don't want nothing. You don't want somebody in your face all the time. But you do still want to enjoy yourself and have grown up fun. You want to have grown up adult fun. So yes, uh, you don't want children. I do. I mean, I switch between it. I think one, if I do have a child, one, one is, that's it. That's a cutoff. That's a cutoff. But I'm not, I spoke about this. It doesn't, having a child, not having a child is not going to change the trajectory of my life. It's not going to change who I am. It's not going to do anything for me. Bring more, fill it up or whatever. I have quite a full and blessed and grateful life as it is. So having a child, it's, it's a blessing. I mean, if I, if I meet like a catch, I know, yes, I'll do, I'll do what I got to do. Yeah, I understand. But if I don't, that's also okay. It's not really going to change anything, really. It's not going to change the price of bread. It's not going to change anything. Uh, you're very wealthy. You're a sex addict or a freak. I'm not. I'm not. If you guys would know, I'm the most biggest grandma. <laughs> Grandma, when it comes to things like a shirt, I'm, I'm the biggest grandma. No, I'm lying. I'm lying. Obviously, I'm not a grandma, but I'm not a freak. Like, it, it doesn't... I don't want to have it all the time, every time. No. Do I enjoy it when I do have it and all of that? Absolutely. What? Do I go? Do I try new things? Do I blah, 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 have fun and do da, 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 da? Of course I do. But am I crazy for it? Do I want it right now? No. In fact, right now, this wine seems better than the whole option of sex, to be honest. It's sexy. You have worked hard for all the things I have. Yes, I have worked absolutely, exceptionally hard for everything that I have. You guys don't know that I used to work at ESCOM. And if I stayed at ESCOM, I think I would be in a much better off financial position than I am now, had I chosen to stay. But I left because I joined the family business and all of that. I was asked to join the family business and all of that. So I was just like, okay, I mean, I guess. But if I stayed at Esco, sweetie, I'm going to line manager, middle manager stage right now. Luna, lava pala. Uh, I used to think you were lesbian. Now, I get this all the time. Again, I'm going to come back to say, this is you. I, I, I got a lot of this. That you're a lesbian, I got a lot of these. Um, and I think that it's personally based on the fact that you are judging me by what you see. A lot of the time, let's be honest. You're judging me based on what you see. So you're judging the fact that, oh, I cut my hair a certain way. Oh, I wear certain types of clothing. I don't go, you know, glitzy, glitzy, bling, blingy, girly, girly. I'm very, and my personality and my demeanor is very, um, it's very masculine, which is true. My personality and my demeanor is very masculine. There's more masculine than lin demeanor within me as opposed to femininity. And that's quite sad that you would judge somebody and assume their sexual orientation based on what you are seeing. Or straight so, people. Can you not have straight people that are masculine and dress in slacks all the time and are always in sweaters and whatever? Can you not have straight people? Straight women that are like that? Can you not have bisexual women that are like that? Like, what are you trying to say about your judgment of people? When you're assuming that somebody is lesbian based on what you see and not actually knowing really, really full handedly what their sexual orientation is. How about we think about that? How about that? That's on um, people. Um, you don't believe in marriage? No, I believe in the union of marriage. I don't place it highly on my to do list <laughs> as I would making myself a good cup of coffee every day. Um, I don't, I don't place it highly. I don't give it the woof that the world has given it and that many young women give it and whatever. It doesn't hold that power to me. However, I do believe in the union of marriage. Absolutely. I believe in the union of marriage all day, every day. But do I, do I think that it will change or validate my life in any way if I do get married? No, no, not at all. Uh, and I've spoken about this in my marriage video that is on my channel right now.
you got your shit together financially so you don't need a man so do i need a man to get my shit together financially Aye. 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 so are you saying that all the women who seem to have their shit together financially that it's because of a man what is this patriarchy what is this misogyny what where is all of the, where are all of these comments coming from that is why i am i'm struggling to understand why is it impossible for people to believe that a woman can actually achieve whatever she is achieving without the help of a gua? Somebody, me, I'll wait. I'll wait while you figure it out. Do you see how much patriarchy is etched even in our minds and in our just our everyday maneuverings and moving about and doing all of this, it's just etched in there. Why would you think that for a woman to be financially sound and secure, a man would have to be behind that? Why would you think that? Guys, you know, 34 years. guys. So the business of having, yeah. It's the, it's the, oh, I take offense to things like this, to statements like this, because I work hard, sweetie. I work hard. I work hard for what I have. So to get this and then for somebody to think, Hore, Mr. Whoever, whoever is behind it, get out of here. And I'm saying, you condone sexual liberation, yet you're low key prude. I'm not prude. Tries to be excessively proper. If, if I look like I'm proper, then it's because I am, sweetie, okay? Uh, especially one who's easily offended by matters of a sexual nature. No, never that. We can sit here and talk about sex, baby. I don't have a problem. I spoke a lot about sex in my video with my sister. Spoke about it. I speak about sex freely with my friends. I speak about sexual liberation and owning your sexuality and who you are. So, no. Prude is definitely a, a word that I wouldn't associate with myself. You play, you look like a no-nonsense person. I am a no-nonsense person, but at the same time, I can, I can have fun. I can vibe out, chill out, have fun and unwind. Definitely, definitely. Um, you have lots of money. What's new there? It's just, it's just money, 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 money everywhere. It's, it's so tacky. Um... Okay, you don't have to, you don't owe anyone an explanation. I'm not explaining. I wanted to do this video because typically I'm sick and tired. I'm not explaining. I'm like, bring it. But spice. be aware that I'm going to bring my spice as well to this video. So as long as we have an understanding, it's fine. It's not an explanation per se. I just think I'm sick and tired of the DMs that I'm getting. And I'm hoping that the people who are busy there within my DMs asking me to do this or accusing me or assuming that it's because of this that I'm like this, we're going to clear that up real quick. Real quick. Uh, you don't work a 9 to 5. I do. I do. I think because you guys see me in the house a lot, there's working from home, uh, COVID. COVID um, really hit our industry quite hard. So a lot of the time we were actually sitting at home. Like there was no work. Like we were the one industry who could only work at level one. So I sat at home for a large portion of last year. And uh, now I do go into the office. I'm actually going into the office more often now. Uh, and then on the days I'm not at the office, I'm here at home. I'm working from home and I'm filming from home as well. So I hope that answers that question. There are some where people are assuming how much I earn per month. And that's just tacky. I think you pay all your bills, baby girl. Men got nothing on you. Yes. Me. I pay all my bills. My parents don't pay my bills. Whoever, whoever doesn't pay my bills. Nelly doesn't pay my bills. I pay my bills. So, I hope that clears everything. You're a strict sibling. Uh, my sister may, may have maybe given off that, that I'm a strict sibling. I'm, I'm just firm. I'm very protective over my siblings. And I'm very... Um, protective of their safety, of their well-being. So I tend to be maybe um, 
a little bit strict with my siblings uh, especially when I worry that their life might be in danger and all of that but as an older sibling who wouldn't be like who wouldn't be uh, you smoke cigars and joints daily I don't smoke any of those things <laughs> the actual fact here's the kicker the actual fact is that um, I actually don't like weed I don't like how it makes me feel. I don't like joints. I don't like how they make me feel. So I hardly ever, I never, hardly ever, I never smoke weed. So no, I don't smoke cigars as well. So no. Uh, you've been a sugar mama to a Ben 10. Absolutely. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I have never dated anyone younger than me. I always date my age group or above. So no, I've never been a sugar mama to a Ben 10. I do not hand people money, people that I'm in relationships with money, no. Do I, uh, do we assist each other with monetary things here and there? Absolutely. Do I make it a habit? Absolutely not. But sugar mama to a Ben 10, no, no child. I can't, I can't. I don't even know how you young people deal with these boys in their 20s now. It's ridiculous. Jesus, it's like so wild. And I, I won't even lie, I've been macked on. I've been shellat by these young boys quite a lot. And I'm just like, I got, I got a DM the other day like, oh my God, your milk is so nice. I can't wait to be sitting in the passenger seat by a young boy. In my head, I'm like, Sweetie, go to school or something. You've had three. <laughs> I know who this one is from. You've had threesomes with girls only. No, I haven't. Uh, would I like to try it? Sure. Could it? Could I be open to it? Sure. Yeah. But I actually. I, <laughs> I hate you so much. I know who this is from. I hate her so much. Um, when the hunger is real, you bring in one night stands over to your place for, for, for the cheaps. Uh, no, I actually don't do that anymore. Like I don't remember the last time I had a one night stand. I really don't remember the last time I did that. So, uh, maybe early in my twenties, early twenties. Sure. But now, no, no, no. Nah, I know exactly where to get it. I know exactly where to get it. Whether single or in a relationship, I know where to get it. I'm good. <laughs> You're a crybaby, but you hate to cry in front of people. This is absolutely correct. Yes. I hate to cry in front of people, gents. Hey, it's, it's not my vibe. It's not my thing. I absolutely hate crying in front of people. So, yeah, this is true. Oh, wow. Hey, yeah, Pelly White. Hey! And I still have a candidate with cat to form after this. Um, your favorite place to have them dangarangas is in the shower? No. Uh, I find it absolutely uncomfortable. I don't know who... Let me silence my phone. I don't know who the people are who actually enjoy having um, dangaranga in the shower. I actually find it really uncomfortable. I, I'm just like, let, bro, let's just leave it, bro. Like... <laughs> so no 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 uh that i'm 40 i'm not 40 wow you're aging me sweetie and a lot of the time i always get that i'm younger so this person went and said i'm older but no i'm not <sighs> you're dating a white guy no no i don't swing that way however i'm not open to not to, to i'm i'm not closed off to trying it uh, but I've never had a, well, there is a white guy that I do have a crush on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't say who he is because I'm not sure who watches my videos, but. Yeah. Uh, you've been married before and you decided to kind of bow him. Puma gatu ya buya. Hama gatu ya buya. No, I haven't been married. <laughs> the wine, she's working on me. Mm -hmm. um, you're very secretive. I'm very private. There's there's a difference between secretive and there's a difference between... There's a difference... Wow. There's a difference between secretive and private. I'm very private. I'm not secretive. Um... 
however I'm, I'm good at keeping people's secrets as well so there's that but i'm not i'm not i'm not secretive i'm not secretive no uh you have a very sexy body but you don't want to show it to the public i dress in very baggy attire this is true it's very rare that i will wear tight hugging figure hugging clothes um i do have dresses here and there pants here and there but a lot of the time yes um i'm actually in in i, I love lounge wear if i could wear lounge wear every day i would wear it every single day so this is true there's an element of truth to this one uh, your current relationship makes you happy man he don't want a relationship me that's the thing bro we could sit here and talk about this all day he doesn't want a relationship me guys I've been trying to hook him, trying to hook him. He don't want, but he keeps getting me all these nice things, but he don't want to hook me. Why? I'm being sarcastic, okay? <laughs> oh, okay, you date older men. No, I don't, and I would love to when I'm available, if ever I get available after this. <laughs> I think you only date men with money. No. Contrary to what people might think, I don't do that. I, someone's heart is more it for me, uh, but I'm not naive and I'm not stupid. I'm not going to date somebody who, I, I, I think a very important conversation to have is to know when, that when you're in a certain place or position financially in your life, you kind of have to date within that same tax bracket because it's really, really hard to date somebody who earns much significantly less than you. If you're dating someone who earns five grand, 10 grand less than you, whatever, fine. But if you're dating someone who earns 30 grand, 40 grand, 50 grand, six, 70 grand, whatever, like a large chunk of money less than you, uh, it, it makes it a bit of a problem because um, the day that you guys are supposed to yo there's going to be so much problems when it comes to booking things planning things buying things whatever whatever something to you that may feel like oh, it's a small purchase and then that person comes back and says to you no this is expensive why are we getting this um yeah so this 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 video is too long so i'm gonna cut it here um yeah i'm gonna cut it here i hope you guys enjoyed this video there are so many others if you want me to do a part two let me know and i'll do a part two uh but i have something else to film right now which also involves <laughs> confession session which also involves that so i'm gonna take a little bit of a break and then i'm gonna film that but i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope this cleared out a bunch of things please be aware of the things that you say to people. Please be aware of the things that you say. Don't assume when you don't know. And also give people credit. Give people credit. If somebody seems like they work and they're successful and whatever, and you don't see any man behind that nonsense, then they're probably doing it themselves. Or if they come from a wealthy family, whatever, typically a lot of the time people state things like that if they come from a wealthy family. And the ironic thing is, if you come from a family that's quite comfortable, middle income, middle income to uh, wealthy and all of that, the ironic thing is your parents are a lot harder on you because it, it's easy for you, for them to silver spoon you and do whatever. But a lot of the time in my family, that's never been a thing. It's never been a thing. So I hope this clears everything up because really I'm sick and tired of addressing things like this in my DMs and all of that. But you got all the spice, sweetie. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until the next one, I'll see you then.